Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at Red Room Audio's Q Builders, which is a really cool percussion library. It is loop based, but you get a lot of flexibility on how you want to utilize those loops. So I also wanted to kind of, instead of just show the product, maybe do a little tutorial on how to use this in a track, and it is called Q Builders. So we're going to start with a rhythmic uh, loop from Q Builders, and then we're going to build upon that and make a kind of uh, cinematic action type track. So here we go. Let's go right in to Q Builders. There are a bunch of different instruments for this, so I'll show you those real quick. So we have, uh, here we go, Q Builders Cinematic Rhythms. Now on the instruments, as you can see, we have a bunch of different time signatures. Not only have epic rhythms, but we have world rhythms as well. So we have 12, 8, 3, 4, 4, 4, A, 4, 4, B, 5, 4, 6, 8, 7, 8. So that's a lot of variety um, for the time signatures. I'm using the 4-4 four, four right here. Why? Because it's very easy and it's very, it's the one that, um, kind of is standard everybody knows this time signature and it's the most common which is why we have 44a and 44b so here we go we load it up and you'll notice that here in the blue keys everything is mapped to a key You'll notice when I release that key, it triggers that last uh, drum to hit. So it's very nice when you want to transition into a new measure or something like that. You can also hold down two at once. So here we go. In the uh, menu here, you can select and kind of scroll through each one. They all have their own names, but each one of these is also mapped to the keys down here. If you highlight the key, you'll notice right there it'll pop up the name of that. So it's pretty nice how you have access to everything from one page. We have mic positions, uh, close and hall for all of these samples as well. And what I really like is how you can go in and enable and disable the different layers here. So right now we just have the low layer enabled. And we're just slowly going to add the layer so you can isolate each one and just use the high, just use the mid. Um, so we're just going to add the different layers in now. I think this works really well on its own, just this mid layer. It's a nice, um, more detailed. So we'll add in the high layers now. That gives it kind of the offbeat there with that hi-hat type sound or the shaker. I like that. So, you know, we have a lot of different variety here. While there is a kind of full loop program to each key, you can go in and enable and disable each of those layers. Now, again, remember, we're just looking at the 44A right now, and there are so many different time signatures to choose from. So we also have the world rhythms, which are going to be more ethnic, uh, less orchestral and epic. Um, so for the epic rhythms, think of something like a movie trailer or, you know, an orchestral action scene like John Williams or James Newton Howard, where the world rhythms are going to have more of those ethnic instruments from all over the world, maybe Japanese, Chinese, maybe Middle Eastern, um, or Native American, something like that. Uh, we have a lot of different varieties. So I'm going to go in and show you how you can use this to build a queue. It's going to be fairly simple, nothing crazy, but again, we're going to start with queue builders, and just by adding on top of that, we can get a pretty nice solid action track, or at least the foundation for one, just with a few layers. So let's check it out.
Now, if you want to switch up that kind of bass rhythm, it's as easy as just switching to a new key because they're all mapped there already. So let's just check out a few of those different ones. And also we will move on to a second section, which is a little more subtle. All right, so let's explore another feature about this, which is what the mod wheel does. Um, if we look right there, as I'm moving the mod wheel on my keyboard, uh, it changes the loop. So right here, we just have the low section. Right in the middle, it's, it's an even balance of everything. And we move the mod wheel down, and it's just the mid and high section. So that's a way to really seamlessly on the fly uh, morph or change between those layers. If you want one measure with the full uh, ensemble, just do that. Leave it right there in the middle. The next measure within your um, piano roll, just with the modulation, you can t tune it all the way down or all the way up. If you just want the low uh, elements or the high elements to shine through. So right here, I advanced the uh, composition using the same chords, but now I use a more subtle uh, loop here, which adds just a light bit of texture instead of the full overblown drums. So there you have it. That is how to use Q Builders to add some kind of full blown epic drums or just some light kind of textures to it. Um, it's a really, really nice library, and I've barely begun to scratch the surface. But there are, you know, a lot of really good videos from Red Room Audio about how to use this library. So we just basically just looked at the epic rhythms the two different banks, mostly Epic Rhythms 4-4-A. Um, but again, remember there is a ton of different time signatures to use, 7-8, 12-8, 5-4, all kinds of stuff. And there's also a whole bank uh, of the world rhythms. So I just use the Epic Rhythms. We also have world rhythms as well. So don't forget to check those out. This was a little quick tutorial how to use it to actually build a queue, as it's called Queue Builders. So Cinematic Rhythms by Red Room Audio. Don't miss this one. It's a whole new concept for the whole loop-based libraries, and it's a little more natural and less processed. So I really love it. I hope you love it too. Thanks for checking it out with me, and I will see you guys next time.